Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me Peter the master of hoppets looking at the wildfires spreading all over Europe at the moment moment which is all over the states another juice bomb another New England style IPA so so many people are doing this right now which is cool um it's it's a nice style I, I like New England style IPAs I don't know if they're here to stay or if it's gonna be another fad uh, I've said in a lot of my videos, I think they're going to go the way of the West Coast IPA. They're going to be done like by everyone. Like West Coast was like super popular. You had West and East Coast kind of more multi IPAs and the West Coast dang tanks. Then all of a sudden everyone started doing West Coast IPAs. Then all of a sudden this came around and now I think slowly everyone, was, or not everyone, but quite a lot of breweries are going to start doing the New England style, the Northeast style, whatever you want to call it. But I'm a happy camper about that because I love those juice bombs. So this one, I gotta give a big thanks to uh, my subscriber Michael, or Mikael, who stopped by uh, where I work and said, I have a couple cans for you. So this and uh, another goodie you'd see if you follow me on Instagram. But this, guys, is from Levi in Norway, or Levik, and uh, Lervik. Derby makes some really nice beers, but this is the first time they're doing a juice bomb, at least what I know, and it's even called Tasty Juice. So, Derby Tasty Juice, double hopped Citra IPA on 6% in a 500 milliliter can with that, you know, sticker on it. I mean, this looks like something that would come out of other half or something, you know, Monkish or one of the brewers in the States where they slap a sticker on the can. Uh, so it should be interesting to see this if this is going to be as good. So it says here on the side, Tasty Juice is a double hop IPA. It holds massive tropical and dank flavors from the double load of citra hops. It's made with barley, oat, and wheat malt, and then hops and yeast, of course, and then drink now, which is pretty nice. Like, drink it fresh, don't sit on it. And uh, yeah, I think this is pretty much all over Europe, but it will be interesting to see if Lerwick is going to do this now with more beer. Like, start releasing canned awesomeness. That'd be so cool because, yeah, you know... It, I can smell this from here. I think this is going to be really nice. Uh, Michael said this for him is like up there with amazing haze from Steve Baggett's and like in the EU, EU haze game. Oof! <laughs> the woof from there. Uh, pours out well, uh, super hazy juice bomb looking color. I mean this looks like pineapple juice mixed with orange juice or just like multi-fruit juice you'll have in the morning. Uh, not too much head, but I notice a lot of these juice bombs, they don't, bombs don't generate too much head, but there is some off-whitish stuff going on in there. Let's check out the aroma on Lyric Tasty Juice. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking juice bomb for sure. Holy shit, that smells amazing. Oh my god. Oh, this is one of those. This is, this is like super tropical like super tart tropical fruits it says tropical and dank i'm not getting dankness really i'm just getting overload of tropical citra notes holy shit maybe there's like the subtlest into dankness but to me this is just like tropical fruit juice it smells like pineapple juice it smells like like passion fruit and pineapple juice with like a touch of mango maybe some orangey notes as well but Fuck, this smells ins This is so pungent and popping, too. My saliva is watering like crazy. I'm just gonna try this right away. Cheers. Thanks a ton, Michael. <laughs> that is fucking delicious. Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. Mmm. That is freaking great. Super pineapple and uh, like pineapple and passion fruit forward with those hints of mango. I'm getting a little bit of that dank edge on the flavor, like a dankness and some bitterness. This is fucking delicious. It's so cool that so many breweries are doing these awesome IPAs in Europe right now. Uh, it's got a bit of like, I think it's it's got that kind of green bitter hop matter thing. And I think that will fade if it sits. Like, let's. One of the things with a lot of these New England IPAs, they have like, because they're so heavily hopped, they have like this kind of green hop matter thing. Like, almost like tasting like if you took hop pellets and mixed them in water. Like a hop pellet slurry, if you could call it like that. 
at least it has a bit of it, but not too much, because I think some, it gets so much that you get like hot burn, like, from it. But this doesn't seem to have that. Oh, this is great. Super citra forward though. Citra, in this case, is very tropical, mostly tropical. Uh, sweet citrus, a little bit, but mostly it's the passion fruit and pineapple. It doesn't really have like the bubblegum and fruity taste that you get in some of these beers, like in, um, like say some of the treehouse beers, they have like that bubblegum, ju really juicy fruit edge. This is more about hops, and then like super nice, silky slick mouthfeel, but not as chewy, like the chewiest of mouthfeels and best mouthfeels, I still think, are like treehouse. They make the best mouthfeels with these IPAs. Um, it's still very nice and silky, but not as like crazy as theirs in Paleway. A little bit of the dankness. It's got a little bit of grapefruit to it as well, maybe. I think it's definitely very New England-like and very juicy. I'm getting a bit of the hot burn the more I drink it, that kind of green hop matter thing. But it's a fucking delicious, um, super juicy IPA. So cool to see these guys chime in on it too. And I love the, you know, can design and everything. Like, I saw McKellar in San Diego. They're starting to do it as well now. Like, they just call it Ukla IPA, which is like hazy IPA in Danish. But this is delicious. The only thing is like, for me, what pulls it down a bit is like, it's the more I drink it, the more I get of this green hop matter thing. But it's still fucking awesome. This is a damn tasty juice. Let's say it like that. It's not like, it's not a hundreds for me, but it's a damn fucking awesome, uh, juicy, juicy double IPA. It's got a little bit of a, maybe even an earthiness to it, but mostly the dominant flavor is definitely the tropical uh, passion fruit pineapple, a little bit of mango, and then the sweeter citrus fruits, and that's what I really enjoy. Damn good stuff. Rating wise, let's see. Mm, 97? 96? 97? It's really damn awesome. I mean, it's a fucking delicious, super tasty juice bomb. The only thing that pulls it down a bit for me is like a, that green hop matter, uh, almost hop burn thing going on in the throat. And then the mouthfeel could be a little bit bigger, but this is a great juice bomb. <laughs> tasty juice for sure. So awesome to see Lyric treading into this territory as well. Uh, definitely let me know what you think of it if you had a chance to try it. I think this is delicious stuff. And would love to hear, uh, you know, if you guys in Norway watching know about this, if, if this is a thing now that Lyric's gonna do, release cans like this, because then I'm gonna be on that shit. <laughs> but yeah, it would be cool to see more, like, I think it's other half that does that, like, do these New England style IPAs, but with different hops and like Citra Mosaic, Citra Mosaic, Citra Mosaic. Uh, because everyone uses Citra Mosaic for these beers. It's cool to see like Mandarina Bavaria or Hule Melon, some of the New World ones, or El Dorado, or Asaka, or some, like some cool new hops. Galaxy, well, Galaxy is impossible to get, but yeah, this is tasty, tasty stuff. So if you get a chance, definitely check out the Lervik Tasty Juice. If you don't, well, keep your eyes out on Lervik right now because that's damn tasty juice. So, <laughs> as always, guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'm going to say cheers. See you guys in another beer review.